Well, yeah, they're they're that's... basically t they're basically right. saying like it's the difference between acute and chronic. Acute meaning just like you know it's in the moment, temporary, etc. Chronic is more like this is just your average functioning. Right. Yeah, he's he's also so, fast as hell. So like in my situation though, I'm yeah, stressed. Go into his run mode. I'm stressed for like a little bit each day. So some days I'm not, and then I don't know, I usually bounce back later. So I don't know, is that considered like acute or is that chronic? Well, I mean, you're kind of, it's more acute in the sense that you have it happen all the time, but the chron- it, or you, it's cute that you have it in like short bursts, but it's chronic in the sense that, you know, it happens all the time. I mean, there's not really like a standard definition. You'd probably be wanting to look more into, like, well, whatever actual condition might result from that, I guess. Hmm. I guess my concern is like, so let's just say, pretty much since I quit smoking and lost my coping mechanism. Yeah, like, you probably would need a new coping mechanism of some sort, I imagine. Yeah, well, I haven't found one yet, so I've not been handling the stress very well. And so, probably for the last nine years, almost now, I've been getting pretty stressed out, having the occasional like nervous breakdown. And I just wonder, like, after nine years, I don't think I've really had any symptoms from it yet, but, like, is that enough that I should be getting concerned about high blood pressure and stuff, or...? Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I couldn't tell you the high blood pressure part. I mean, that's certainly more stress than I'd want somebody having to deal with in a regular fashion, but, I mean, different people have, like, different amounts of resilience in a psychological sense, at least. Hmm. I, I guess... Know, it's hard to say. I'd say it's not healthy to have, like serious amounts of stress for that long, you can avoid it, but, I mean, people certainly survive it, it's not like it's going to be lethal, necessarily. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's my concern, because it's like, I don't know, I, I, I really want to get my stress under control, and I worry that maybe it's like too late to bounce back from this. <laughs> no, it, it's not too late, even if you get really bad, it's not too late, I mean, like, functionally, you, you can do, like, damage over time in a sense, but your body is also remarkably able and resilient and able to come back from a lot of it, too. It's very rare to actually do something that would cause significant long-term damage that you honestly couldn't, um, you know, recover from to some significant degree. Mm, so, like, if I did get high blood pressure from being stressed, like, I can get that back under control. Yeah, in many cases you can. I mean, even, like, technically, even, like, things like diabetes, you can actually get back under control to the point where you don't need to be taking insulin. It's really hard, but you can do it. Hmm. I really hope it, I never get that. <laughs> yeah, well, again, you, you... Thankfully, it's not something you... It's something that isn't that hard to avoid. It's just hard to kind of undo. I try to watch my sugar intake, but, yeah, stress is definitely the big thing at the moment. Yeah. I keep trying to remind myself, like, you know, it's not worth getting stressed over, because then I'll get stressed about being stressed, but, man, like, after the whole tar thing yesterday, I just fucking lost my cool, and today it was like... Well, yeah, you. but you're vulnerable. dealing with really, like, crazy stuff. I mean, that's a normal reaction. Like, if you were sitting here saying, like, oh, yeah, all this stuff happened, man, eh, no big deal. <laughs> I'd actually, I'd be a lot more worried about you at that point, because that would be like, okay, what is he, like... What are you just, like, jamming down into your psyche that, you know, is going to come out later as some kind of weird, fucked-up condition? I mean, at least at this point, you're kind of dealing with it. I guess that's true. Yeah. I mean, in essence, honestly, the big thing is I just say try not to, you know, let worrying about it become, like, make the problem happen. That's hard to control. Like, I mean, it after, is. after having the nervous breakdown, then, like, all day I've been stressed about, like, it is all that stress that I've just endured and caused to myself, basically, like, am I, like, am I doing damage to my health and stuff from that, I guess? It, I can actually answer that one, but the answer, it really kind of depends on, like, what your definition is. Because, I mean, technically, like, anything can cause a small amount of damage, but you also have to recognize your body is healing a shit ton of damage every single day. And that there are entire parts of your body that require damage, in a sense, to even do their job. Like, I mean, like, you growing, like, you building up muscle fiber in your arm, you know, by lifting something for a while, the reason you're building it up is because you're tearing the muscle fibers and causing damage to your arm and causing your body to rebuild the area more strongly over the next day or two. 
in a similar sense, I mean, psychologically, you can damage yourself with things like stress, but it's not as if, like, that's permanent damage, like, oh, you fucked up and it's never coming back. So, in other words, like, even though I was stressed for most of today, I'll probably, like, recover from a lot of that over time. Yeah, you're not, it's not gonna, like, cause you long-lasting damage, most likely. Uh, I, I mean, not. like, year upon year upon day upon day, it can start to have a cumulative effect, but that cumulative effect is still not usually permanent in any degree. I'd say, honestly, it's just, it's the kind of thing I really would attempt to not worry about too much, because it's... I mean, at the very least, worrying is not going to make it any better. True. I keep trying to tell myself that, but... Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like art telling yourself, you know, don't think about a bear or something. You Immediately your brain's like, all right, bears. What? <laughs> yeah. True. Our brains are very good at, like, or very bad at not doing things. We're pretty good at doing other things, but telling your brain to stop something is usually pretty worthless. Yeah, like when somebody's having freaking out, it's just like, calm down. It's like, I can't calm down. <laughs> oh, yeah, that... I'm guilty of that one, even though I know damn well I shouldn't. Because uh, it's it's so tempting under certain circumstances, especially when somebody from an outside perspective is like, it's very clear that you're worrying about nothing. Like, yeah, but telling them that's not going to do shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's a helpful thing to say. Like, even though rationally, like... They should just be able to calm down. It's like that the chemicals are already released in their brain, and they're just yeah. going through the motion at that point. And I mean, honestly, if you've got some coping skills, you could technically do a lot that will just calm you down. But in a lot of cases, also, you don't really want to. It's a pain in the ass to try to calm yourself down or feel better. It's not fun. It doesn't feel good. Frankly, it kind of feels better to sort of just, like, live into it for the moment and, you know, get it out of your system. Not yeah. always good for you, but, you know... Well, that's kind of what I was trying to do earlier. Like, I kept trying to hold back my tears and just keep everything together, and I was like, fuck it, I just, I just let go. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's, it's not like, it's not necessarily harmful to try to hold back your emotions every now and then, but it's also not harmful to let them go. And, I mean, you kind of have to decide in the moment which is going to make the most sense for you. Yeah, I'm still on the fence about all that. Like, I feel like all my worrying today was... Maybe somewhat irrational, but it was just a combination this whole week. Well, irrational or not doesn't mean it didn't, you know, still have a reason for you. I, I mean, guess, ultimately, it's it's all kind of subjective anyway. That's true. I guess I'm just trying to trying to be logical about it to sort of, I don't know, kind of keep myself calm. That's fair. Oh, wait, you just started up? I did. Okay, come your way. Because in a lot of cases, it's, like, if you're able to convince yourself that something you're worrying about is fine, or you can, it can be fine soon, that maybe you can calm yourself down. That's usually how I try to approach it, but... Yeah, that's fair. Oh, shit, I gotta get up there. I gotta get up to you somehow. Fuck, oh, he's been limping forever. Oh, wow, you're fucking him up. What are you doing to that poor bastard? <laughs> yeah, well, actually, it's a nail gun, technically. Although, oh yeah, it does a lot of damage if you can get it close enough to use it. Oh yeah, and uh, when you swap between those, it swaps between the two active items you can have at once. It's actually, I guess, one of the reasons he's so popular. Yeah, the beam thing, I think, is fairly limited range, but it's uh, it packs a hell of a punch. Yeah, multi is multi is a, a popular one. That's a watch my health, damn it. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, fair. He's got wheels, though. Yeah, I know. It's getting more, like... More, even more... Oh, wait, uh, let's do that quick. Yeah, I'd say so. I don't know what it is, but... Wait, this is just the, the bizarre, I think. Oh, 
Well, it's not gonna harm us. I just don't have 11 tokens yet. Yeah, we could go in and buy something. We can buy something in there with the tokens we have, but I'm not. I'm gonna save in mine. I still have not watched that one character with him, so I'm not getting it. Yeah. We kind of want the characters. I'm assuming he'll, they'll let us keep them as the game keeps going. Although the later characters might get a lot more complicated to get. Okay, we got a health shrine over here if you want to get some money. I'll let you take next hit if you want it. I will allow you to take the hit. Yeah, I'm just healing up for that last uh, slug of health. All right, 93% of my health gone in one moment. Hope I don't die. I hope. Otherwise, you're doing this level alone. Oh, hey, I got a uh, black hole cube. I have used it much. Oh, shit. Didn't want to go with hole buddies, huh? <laughs> just saying, you might, you may be the best choice, and you know, just know that. No Everyone's like shitting on that image of the black hole. Oh my god, they don't realize that this is hard to get Yeah, or like what the image actually is. <laughs> My iPhone 3 takes better pictures than that. Well, that is so far away, so that's a small blurry. And it's not. Like yeah, it's, it's not even a light. <laughs> it's not even taking pictures of light, it's like, you know, freaking gravity waves and shit. I mean, like that, yeah. <laughs> Life is being refreshed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we didn't use a fucking Instagram filter, you goddamn assholes. Oh, yeah. You see, this is the problem with filters in general. They give us an unrealistic idea of reality. Yeah. I always said it was bad on pools. <laughs> yeah, I watched that uh, Vertrillium guy on YouTube talking about it. I also love that the uh, there's an entire group of people who are trying to basically get pissy about the fact that, like, it can't be a woman who discovered it. And they were trying to, like, point out, like, this guy. Oh, what's this? I found a switch. An ancient gate begins to shift? What does that mean? But a bunch of guys basically decide, like, well, there's this guy in the team that actually, like, wrote the software, or, like, wrote, did, like, the thing, and, you know, he deserves more credit than her. And that guy actually got on Twitter and was basically like, no, no, I mean, like, I did parts of it, but no, her work was way bigger than mine. Like, I don't know what the fuck you people are talking about. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. Yeah, I mean, he, he was saying, like, look, man, I'm, I'm glad you guys like my work, and that's awesome, but I get the distinct impression you don't actually like my work, you just hate the fact that it was her who got the other stuff. Back blaming. Definitely. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Pootie Pie. Is that where you got that from, Pootie Pie? Respect Wayman? I don't know where it came from. Like, yeah, that's, that's Pootie Pie. Pootie Pie. Yeah, I've seen his... I don't know, I'm, I used to hate him just because he's so popular, but... Now he's coming around. Like he, he trolls. Well, I like that before it was like he was trying to be somebody he wasn't, which and it was like he was trying to appeal to like a really young audience by doing like the shitty jump scares and all this shit. Like it's pretty bad. I was not. I was really. I hated that. I hated yeah. I, I, that's exactly it. I think he stopped trying to please everybody, and now he's just being himself. And himself is far more killing. <laughs> like him just being him instead of putting on like a fake facade is far more killing to watch. Uh-uh. It was freaking amazing. It was really good. It was like the rewinded one. Like that video was like, well, I am, huh? 
it was it was very funny to watch. I I I'm not throwing that up. You people, I tell ya. <laughs> it's a good game. Uh, it's not even a bad player base. It gets it gets shit primarily because it's popular. I mean. Like, I don't like the building aspect of it, but I mean, for fuck's sake, those people do shit that I've never seen, like, another company do in terms of, like, actually keeping a game interesting and, like, updating it constantly. The fact that... Like, you know, yeah, I mean, because it's a free game. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing Kooning Fight does. Like, everyone says he has an army of 12-year-olds or whatever, and he just, like, owns it. Hmm. I wonder if I'd die if I jump down here. A lot of his no, videos... No, no, he will. He will? Oh. You tested this theory. Yeah. yeah. A lot of his videos I've seen him where, where he's like, Come on, I need my army of 12 year olds. Let's <laughs> band together. <laughs> it's just like, so damn funny. Alright, hit it. Eh, actually, I kind of want a capacitor. You, yeah, you, get, you can get both. Yeah, it takes a second to switch back and forth, but yeah, that's one of the big advantages of multi. <clears throat> Oh, it's a, okay, I get the name now. Ah, uh, yeah, see? It's playing words. Oh, it's now, uh, <laughs> uh, now like, what's that, the the fry thing? Like, I get it. <laughs> and you say, oh, now I get it. I don't know what the original thing was, but... Where the wait, fuck is shit. This thing? See it again? Yeah, I... No, I don't. It's gotta be in here someplace, but... Oh, oh here it is. On the other side, other side. You guys like anime? <laughs> I, I enjoy I enjoy anime. Yeah, dude. I haven't I haven't watched it in a while, but I've seen this recommendation on YouTube randomly for Paradise or something. I just I know watched that one. it. Oh my god, this is so fucking good. I couldn't stop. I watched the entire fucking thing, uh, all twelve episodes last night in a row. Damn. Dude, it was excellent. I see what it was called. I'll tell you. I actually, of course. I wanted to watch it so bad. I signed up. Nice. I was gonna say, I mean, clearly if you're into anime, the only one that, um... I'm trying to see what the name of that one. It was a Netflix original. It's got, um... It's got a bunch of, like, really amazing actors. They got, like, um... Steve Buscemi actually does voicing for it. They got, um... Stephen Fry. Uh, if you got any recommendations, but, I'll uh, watch them. But the, the scary thing, though, is that it, it's a six-episode series based entirely on content from uh, Jaden Smith's Twitter account, and Jaden Smith voices the main character. I think I remember you telling me about that. What was it's, that called? It's fucking horrible, and it's amazing. <laughs> it is it, it is cancer of a sort that I've never seen, and yet it it's so goddamn bad, it kind of comes back around to being amazing. Why is your recommendation? Oh, it's, it's painful. It will hurt you <laughs> deeply, but I still...